Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is Chris Williams aka Dark Hemic bringing another digital art tutorial. Um, today I am installing Linux Mint 21. It's a long-term stable release. I am ditching Windows completely. I do not want to move to Windows 11. Whatever your reasons, um, if you're like mine, I don't like it phoning home and Honestly, Blender just runs faster. All of the tools I need are available on Linux from um, Blender, Krita. I don't use Photoshop anymore. Haven't touched Photoshop in years. Um, Substance Painter is available on Linux with some stipulations. If you're running an NVIDIA graphics card and you get the drivers installed, you're good to go for... Substance Painter, and the Unreal Engine. If you're on a Radeon graphics card, according to Steam's site, says that your open source drivers are not supported. I will be moving over. I got a buddy that um, just upgraded his graphics card to a 3080. He is being great, very, very gracious and sending me a 1080 um, TI. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, that will help me do substance, or um, not substance, stable diffusion in painting inside Krita on a Linux workstation. I am still going to be the state doing the stable diffusion CPU only builds. And after I'm done with this tutorial, I am going to go through and automate the process and give you guys an install script and hopefully get all of that going a whole lot smoother. I know a lot of people have been struggling with the command line stuff and hopefully I don't have to do a whole lot of command line stuff when I'm installing this Linux operating system and showing you my workflow and then I'll go into future videos. We'll be doing Blender tips, some Unreal stuff, doing some in-painting in Krita. Anything digital art related on my PC, I'm going to be sharing with you guys. So um, if you're into that, like and subscribe. A lot of the other tutorials will be just on the product or the um, program themselves like Blender or Unreal. So if that is something that you're into, please like and follow. Uh, to get things started here, you're going to go to Linux Mint and you're going to click the download. If you have other problems, there are installer ins or in installation instructions here. Uh, but I am going to do a video of showing you how to install so we're going to go, I am grabbing the Cinnamon Edition, the desktop is going to be almost identical to what you're used to on a Windows environment if that's what you're coming from. Um, we got the start bar, our programs, a lot of GUIs to go and handle, a lot of the complicated things. I have not used Linux Mint 21 at all. I've used past versions. And it was a really smooth user experience. So you get that downloading, click the download button, and it's going to come down here to a whole list of mirrors. Just pick one that you think is close to you and get that downloading. That might not have been as close as I thought. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Next thing you're going to need to download is, this is the install image that you are going to actually use to install. You're going to need a jump drive, and you're going to need to use Rufus to burn it. Um, I know that the page looks a little sketchy. I promise you it is not. These are ads, so they can go and get paid. Go down here, and you download Rufus. We're going to run Rufus. Okay. I did burn it before to go 
just to go and check, but I'm going to do it again just to show you guys how to go and do it. Click on the select. Find your image that you downloaded and it's complete. I'm going to stop this one real quick. So find that image. Hit open. It should automatically populate all of this information for you. And you hit start. Recommend it. Okay. Okay. All right, now that that is finished up, I will be disconnecting all but the hard drive on my workstation that I want to install this to. My storage drives are being disconnected so I don't accidentally install it on one of those drives that I really desperately need all the information off of. I suggest you do the same thing. Uh, I'm going to go get that set up and... I'll see you in a second, I guess. I'd like to thank you guys for watching the video, and I've decided to turn this video into a playlist. I know in the video I was going to say that it was going to be all one large video, but it's just too much. Um, having it on a playlist and letting you scour through it and find things that you need um, makes a whole lot more sense. So, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe again, and see you in the next video.